teaching future teachers about school safety. On Monday, we showed you how Oklahoma colleges are preparing the next generation of educators. At OSU, students learn to create a safe space in their classrooms. They're also taught to familiarize themselves with the policies of the school where they work. Basically learn those procedures early on and, and, and learn to follow those procedures and how to handle it basically without panic or fear. Tuesday took us inside the Oklahoma School Security Institute, a group created after the Sandy Hook massacre. Inspired to take action, the commission looked to find ways to work with campuses free of charge. It's a struggle because uh, they don't have money. So it doesn't do any good for me to come in and say you need to remodel this entire entry point or to do a huge investment in cameras or electronic uh, magnetic locking devices if you don't have the money. Instead, the focus is on low or no cost solutions like protecting open windows and creating behavioral threat assessments that could prevent a tragedy. Expert help for Stillwater schools. On Wednesday, we saw how that district is working with the president of National School Safety and Security Services. Ken Trump met with school staff and parents recommending lockdown drills, a school crisis team, and school resource officers. The worst nightmare of a school administrator of a parent of students. Lessons learned from a tragedy nearly 20 years ago. Yesterday, we looked back at the Fort Gibson High School shooting back in 1999. Four students were injured, and the school atmosphere has forever changed. A whole lot more emphasis on safety drills, you know, because it's really real now when we do a safety drill. Everybody knows that this could happen. Each Fort Gibson school building is now equipped with security cameras, and the police department recently partnered with the district to add a school resource officer, giving them an extra level of defense. Brian Sanders, 2 Works For You.